Which you guys got another video here for you. This one's not really a tutorial, it's more of a me doing a digital scrapbook of my great grandfather who lost his life in uh, World War One, and I wanted to put some sort of a scrapbook together in Photoshop. Now I'm no expert in Photoshop and I've got the idea from uh, Third Element and he's got some videos on there so I've watched some of his videos and some other videos about digital scrapbooking and I thought it'd be a great idea to have a go myself. So I've got me free images off the internet and uh, that you can use, royalty free, and I've also got some other bits and pieces. Okay, so let's get started. And uh, what I'm going to do here is open up my Photoshop. And I'm going to fill this with some colour first. Now you can use whatever size you like. It's, as I said, it's not really a tutorial as such, because um, I'm not that good at Photoshop. So here we have our um, background colour. And then I want to put in my book that I've got so I'm gonna drop this straight in so I'm gonna drop this one into there and then I'm gonna select this I'm gonna whack that straight into my document and I can see a bit of a edge there so I'm just going to clean that off. Now I need to make this a bit bigger. So I'm just going to do free transform here. And stretch that a bit. Okay. So we've got a nice little old book there. So the next thing I want to do is uh, put in some uh, images. But the first thing I want to make this look a bit older. So I'm going to add in some uh, stains and stuff like that. So we can close these off as we go. So I'm going to open this up and go to some stains here. I'm going to go to this one here. This floor texture. So I'm just going to copy this straight across into there. And uh, what I'm going to do here is make this a bit bigger so it covers the document there ok click OK there now I'm going to change the actual mode here to multiply and see what that looks like ok it looks a bit dark but what I want to do next is take the opacity down on that just try and keep some of the staining on there as you can see okay, that's good enough for me okay now we've got this overlap at the bottom here so I'm just going to quickly zoom in here so we can clip this off and what I'm going to do here is go to layer create a clipping mask and it'll clip that and take that off and it still leaves the staining on the actual book there so that's good so we're on to the next stage now is I want to start adding stuff in so let's add in an image so I'm going to close this off now I don't need that that is my great granddad Charles William Henry and uh, I'm going to whack him in there going to paste him straight into my book here and resize him a bit so I'll just leave him up there for now like so ok so that's him there so what I'm going to do next is get an envelope inside here as well now you, I've got an envelope here so let me just close this one off I'm going to open up an envelope now these this is a World War One envelope and all that is blank and I'm just going to add in my own text here so what I'm going to do here is uh, get my text so what I'm going to do here now is paste in my text here now I want to make sure that we've got uh, another colour here 
I'm going to try and use something like a blue or something like that. So it's easier to get it in there and get the color right. So I'm just going to paste this text in, okay? Now, as you can see here, it doesn't fit. So we need to change that size. So I'm just going to put the size in. Okay, let me just uh, bring that up a bit there. And I'm going to move that along. Now, as I said, I'm no expert at Photoshop, but that will do, I think. So we'll leave that like that. Now we'll need to change the color of the font to blue. And then I can. Take the fill down a little bit to make it look a bit more blurry, like to match this other text here because it's old. Okay, so now we've done that, we can uh, merge those layers. Then I'm going to select this and then copy and put this into. Our picture okay so now I need to rotate this a little bit make it a bit smaller again I might need to stretch this a little bit here to make it the same size you're not supposed to stretch it this way but they didn't do an envelope the size of that okay let's have a look at that now what I'm going to do there is now put him on top of that like so okay and then I'm just going to add to this image here. I'm going to come down to the bottom here, blending options. Just going to emboss that a little bit. And drop the emboss down a little bit. And then add a bit of a shadow. Not too much. Probably about that much. It just looks like it's real and then I'm going to copy that layer style and put that onto my image as well. Okay, so that looks reasonable. I may need to make this a bit smaller to make it look like it's fitting inside there. So I'll just quickly change the size of this. That will definitely fit inside that envelope now. Now once we've got that like that, what I'm going to do next is add in a letter here or something like that. So what I'm going to do is get my letter. So I need to open up another image that I've got here. Look for some paper. This paper will do. I'm going to copy this straight over to here. Now this is a massive image so we need to shrink this down. Okay, so we've now got that roughly over here. Once I've got that in place, click OK there. I'm 
just going to copy this layer style across as well on the letter to bring it off the page like so now we need to put our text inside here so let me get my text okay so now I'm going to add in our text here Okay, let me just drop that down a bit there and down again. Do a free transform on that. Just going to line this up. Okay, so I just want to probably drop that down like so or something like that okay again what I want to do here is just lighten this up a little teeny bit so that doesn't look so sharp let's add that down to about 80 82 something like that okay so now we've got that in there okay so what we want to do here now is add our paper clip on to the actual letter now I've got a paper clip here already turned into a transparent background so I'm just going to quickly select this object and paste that into our image now, as you can see here this is a very large image there's probably a quicker way of doing this but this is the way I'm going to be doing it so I'm going to shrink this down a bit get it into position okay so I think we've We'd be happy with that just about there so what i want to do now is just expand this up a bit or zoom in and what i need to do here is remove this inner link here and the reason why is because that will be behind the back of the page so what we want to do is just remove this you can take more time to remove this and uh, what I'm going to do here is just remove that top part and then uh, we're just going to push this into position one last little touch there like so and there we have our paper clip in there so we're going to zoom out here there we go so there's our paper clip on. So what we need to do now is I'm going to add in some uh, medals here. I'm going to come down. I've already done, removed the background for the medals. Okay, so I want to add in some medals here now. So I'm just going to open up and select our medals. Now these are World War One medals. which he would have received these two medals so I'm just gonna paste that into here again I've already moved the background so we can just move that around like so leave that there maybe something like that on the edge And um, what I'm going to do here now is again just just lift that off a little bit. I'm going to copy this layer style 
and then just paste that straight up into there like so okay so what I want to do next is um, I'm going to change the background here so let's change this background this brown background it's going to have a little look at what we've got here okay, let's take a look at this wooden background here something like that maybe so what I'm going to do is uh, paste that in to the background if it's a bit short we just need to stretch that out a bit like so and pull that down that should be fine now you can play around with these backgrounds let's just remove that now and also that and the paper clip now obviously this is uh, too high up so we need to pull this down to where the back is the background so we're just going to drag this down like so so that's like an old World War One trench or something like that or floorboard so the next thing I want to do is just add in a map maybe at the background there or something like that okay so I want to add in a map here at the back now so I'm going to open this up and it's all trial and error really so you just have to play around with it and this is the piece of old paper that I'm going to be using here and I'm also going to open up the Aras map which is where he died in the war and uh, I'm just going to go back here and paste that onto there now what I need to do here now is transform this to make it fit the page now what I'm going to do here is just lighten up the opacity here so I can see through just to make sure we've got everything on there I'm just going to shrink this up a bit like so and once we've done that click OK here and then I'm going to put the opacity back up so what I want to do is I'm just going to quickly remove this part here I don't want this part on the uh, map bit so I'm just going to remove this bit here I'll just paint this in white okay okay that's done okay so what I want to do here now is come up to here and change this look because we can't have it looking like that it looks rubbish at the moment so I'm going to come up to multiply here change that and you can see it just blends straight in and that's how ideal that's all I want there so once I've done that I'm just gonna flatten that image you can see the white part's gone at the back so I'm just going to take that part off there and then select all that and then I'm gonna paste that onto my image there and resize this so once I've done that so now I just need to reshape this here again what I'm after here is just capturing the corner maybe of that so I'm going to turn it like so make sure I've got a RAS in there and UAPs this was the actual area so that will be okay for me right there so I'm just going to okay that there so it just looks like the, the map is on underneath and that's lying on top okay so another thing I just want to do here is just get his badge for his company Royal Fusiliers and uh, I'm going to 
drag that onto the part here just need to get that in the right area so we need to pull it all the way up to the top okay that will do right there and all I need to do here is just copy this layer style like so okay so we're nearly finished now so all we need to do is just add a, a last couple of few bits I'm going to add in this uh, World War One British helmet not much protection from that to be honest but that's going to be up there and I'll try to expand that a little bit make it bigger maybe something like that just to catch the corners of that there that'll be good maybe around about that size there maybe push that back into the corner something like that and uh, what I want to do next is just copy that layer style from there and paste that onto there so it just gives it that little lift okay so the next thing I want to do the last bit really is uh, just gonna burn this area here and what I want to do is make sure I've select this layer and it is that layer I'm just gonna burn this up a bit okay so it doesn't look so shiny okay I think just burn this once over the top like so and I'm just gonna run around the edges here so I need to come down and select the actual book itself and I'm just gonna burn down this edge to make it look a bit old okay we just run that down the edge there and darken this up down the center so it looks pretty old okay Okay, I think we've uh, covered that pretty well there. Just darken this up. Okay, so we're, once I've done that, what I want to do next it's just add a last little piece in here maybe a couple of stains and that is it really so I'm just gonna do this last part let's just darken that up down the bottom there Okay, I prefer that a little bit darker there like so on the wood okay so what I want to do next is just add a bit of staining inside here so I can come back up to the top here close these off we don't need these anymore I'm going to add some stains in here
Well, we've got this uh, wood effect here, which we can use. So I'm just going to come up to layer adjustment layer, and do threshold. And what I want to do here is come up to the side here and just lighten that up a little tad. A little bit like that. Okay. Go back onto the wood layer and then I'm going to come up to edit. Define brush preset. Click OK. And there you can see we've got our brush in there. So I can close this off now. We don't need to save that anymore. Okay, so what I want to do here now is select another layer above that. Make sure I've got my brush selected to black. And I'm just going to select this. Like so. I'm just going to do transform and just make that a little bit bigger like so click OK there maybe a bit bigger just so we're going into that crack there that's it so now we've got a black mark there what I want to do now is come up to our selection here and do soft light and there you can see it's made a nice little pattern there just come on to the opacity just draw that down a bit like so and uh, I'm just going to do another one of these along here along the edge And I've got one more stain that I want to do. I think this stain here will do. I'm going to copy this straight across. Make that a bit bigger. Right about there, I reckon. Something like that. And uh, agree to that. And then I want to go to multiply. And there you can see a couple of more stains there on there. And I think that's going to be about it. That's looking just about where I need it. So let's have a look at the uh, end result here. As you can see, let me just make this a bit bigger. So I think we're going to call this one done. I think it didn't turn out too bad, considering I'm not a professional at Photoshop. But basically what we've done here is put together a little sort of collage of stuff which is related to the World War One and his uh, service as you can see here he served in Arras there and he died in Arras that's where he was uh, died so I put the map in there that's his badge from his uh, unit which is uh, the Royal Fusiliers 1st Battalion and uh, that's a World War One helmet they would have worn and also that's him sitting right there in that photograph and uh, just basically come put a little bit of text in here and these are the medals he would have received for serving in that war they uh, pretty much I think it all comes together pretty well he did live in Stibbenton Street which is not there no more so I think that's going to be about it it looks pretty good uh, for me so thanks again for watching guys hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favoriting all my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so have a great weekend guys and I'll see you real soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.